What up, YouTube? I'm your boy, Jay Tunes, and welcome back to our Minecraft series on the Xbox One. Now, in the last episode, we found that spider spawner, and I know I said I was going to start clearing things out alone, uh, but before I can even work on the automated farm stuff, we have to see how big uh, this is going to end up and how we're going to place everything. So we're going to start working together um, on this here, and, and that way, if you guys don't know how to build one, we're going to go ahead and build it. And it's basically, the normal spider spawners are basically just like the cave spider spawners. It's just you have to make it one block bigger. Uh, so that's exactly what we're going to be doing here. So what we need to do first off is go one, two, three, and then go four blocks uh, out here. And then, of course, we're going to have to enclose all of this stuff here. So uh, four blocks here from the spawner. One, two, three, four on one side. And on this side, we're going to go one, two, three. Hold on. One, two, three. Uh, three, four, and five. We're going to have to go out five this time around. And we're going to do the same exact thing on this side here. So from here, we're going to go... Uh, we'll go five here, right? One, two... Because it's already cut open for us. You know what I'm saying? And back here, we'll go four. So one, two, three, and then just four. And all we're going to do is, is remove all this stuff, put up some torches, and get this going here today. Then we're going to have to figure out what we're going to do here for the side part. Uh, but this is just like the... The only difference is like the the spawners that I've always done have always used... Uh, what are they called? Um, the hopper clocks, you know what I'm saying? Like I use hoppers and, and I, do the, I make the clock that way. It's a little bit different now uh, with this just because... Uh, you can't, there's no hoppers, and there's really no, we we have to do it the old school way. It's going to take like 18, um, 18 repeaters to do this. It does take a little bit of resource. It's, it is resource heavy. It's going to take like 10 pistons or something like that. So it, it is a little intensive on the resources, but it's going to be well worth it, especially the fact that we can just go ahead. And you know what? Now I'm wondering if maybe, I'm wondering if maybe we should just do this room here. I wanted the farms. I want this to be the farming wing, but we have mobs here. I really can't do anything about that, though. There's nothing I can do about that at all. Because the fact that it's on this side here and I can't move the spawner, you know what I'm saying? Then there's nothing we can do. Uh, maybe. We'll have to see what I'm going to do. But first off, this is going to stay like this. So, again, I'm going to just count here one more time. One, two, three, four, five. It is five. I just wanted to go ahead and make sure that it was five. Um, and you have to do this. And we have to go ahead and put up some... Uh, some um, what is it called? Uh, some torches as well because we will get spiders to spawn while we're taking care of this and here on this side it's going to be one two three and four there we go that's wonderful that's exactly what we need here um and this is a little bit different uh compared to the other spawners because spiders uh you guys know how it is spiders climb all over the place and they're kind of annoying but uh it's going to end up working out for us because this is it's, it's really close to the base too which is amazing um, at least I think it's amazing. Anyway, uh, that's going to be there and we're going to have to go ahead now. And I usually try to make this look, actually, you know what? I should try to make this look pretty. I should try to make it look nice on the inside because we're actually going to be able to see inside of these spawners. Yeah, this is a little bit different than, this is just a little bit different. You know what, guys, what I'm going to do real quick is I'm going to make some, I'm going to make this look nice. Uh, just because, yeah, I want to make it look a little bit nicer. So I'll be right back here. All right, guys, I've gone ahead and I've made some, basically all I did was make some stone bricks. Uh, we're going to use that for this spawner because you are going to be able to see it. I don't want this thing to look ugly, so we're going to do everything uh, correctly. Um, the only thing is that I'm still debating on how we're actually going to set everything up here. I started doing a little bit of clearing here, so we're going to set up this room uh, right now. So... Uh, basically, and actually, you know what? I still have to clear some more back there. I was more worried about the roof, um, than anything else because basically it's going to go right up through here. Um, just like this. I hear those damn zombies. Hopefully they don't come and mess with us. Hopefully they don't come and mess with us, but we're just going to close up this ceiling here. Oh man, that hole up there. I'm probably most likely have to cl close that, don't I? I probably have to close that. Anyway, uh, we're going to continue doing here, here. So what I did is go one, two three four five and i went out one more block so i can just get this decorative stone in here basically it's all i want to do just to make it kind of nice looking guys uh i have some you know if if it was just enclosed and we wouldn't be able to see inside of it i wouldn't worry about it but since i am going to see it um yeah i i don't want to have that problem here now hold on let me oh you know what i messed up here i started clearing and i shouldn't have because this needs to be at that height there not that top height there Yep, this needs to be enclosed like that. It has to be smaller here. So I kind of messed up. So I'm going to just fill this in with cobble. And then we'll continue doing um, 
everything else here and we're going to continue working on this trap a little bit here uh, and hopefully you guys will kind of see what i'm doing here and if you need to build one in your own world uh it'll kind of help you as well we're going to go step by step here and hopefully uh get it all down now i know i had cobble but i just dropped it off like a noob all right let me go grab some cobble and close this whole area uh real quick which is quite simple to have because we have cobble everywhere right now just because we've been clearing so much so let's grab that and that's um and hopefully i'm doing this right if i remember properly yeah because the spiders you don't want them to have all that space to walk around you want just the top part there so let me go ahead and just enclose this whole area um yeah i'm definitely gonna have to get up there and close that off so let me go ahead and do that as well uh and just do it just to be safe i'd rather be safe than sorry i don't want spiders spawning in weird spots and and the, and the trap not being efficient or anything like that so hopefully come on baby can I, can I jump up there and get it? Hold on. If I aim like that, can I do it? I think I got it. I think I got it. There might have been a block that I missed there, but eh, one block I don't think is going to hurt us too much. Uh, there we go. And just close that off like that. All right, cool. So we got that all closed off, and now we're just going to do the ceiling here. Um, so we're going to do it at this height. Yeah, because it has to be right there, and then we're going to go down a couple blocks. All right, cool. So that's basically what I have to do. Let me go ahead and see if I can... How come is that glitched out because the blocks are supposed to jump there it is they fell down there it is they're supposed to fall down when you put a block there let me just close this off here and then we'll continue closing off this room now the only thing that i was looking at as well is when we start digging out uh we have so much open area here this is the reason why i want to do the trap this way um or at least attempt to we'll see which way we have to go with it uh but let's go ahead and continue doing this i wish i was a bit quicker at doing this and I might be going out too far. Maybe I should put the other walls in before doing anything else. You know what I'm saying? Let's go ahead and do this and close this off. And plus, I don't feel too safe, uh, to be real. I don't feel safe at all right now. But this right here is the block that we need to go to. Because here should be one, two, three, four, five. And this would be... Hold on. Was that right there? One, two, three, four. Yeah, this is the fifth block here. But how many did we go back here? One, two, three, four. All right, so this block right here, the sixth block here, is where we're going to place our wall. So let's go ahead and just bring this down here. And I know i got to fill this all in, but I just want to do this right now and get this over with. One, two, three, four. Damn, I have so much clearing to do. I thought I had done all the clearing already. I guess not. I got my mind all over the place, guys, trying to get this trap in. I'm trying to get it in in today's episode. I don't think I'm going to be able to, though, because, well, the hard part is, is going just to be to actually set up the room. Uh, and then we're going to do the repeaters and stuff. We might be able to get it done today. Or at least attempt to. So let's keep going here. Go all the way through here like so. And then we're just going to replace this. And I know a lot of you guys don't like to do this. Actually, let me know down in the comments. Do you guys always... Like, I have a problem. When I make something, I kind of want it to look good. Um, so I try to choose, you know, decent blocks for it and stuff. Are you guys the same? Let me know down in the comments if you have an OCD condition like I do. With things trying to look uh, somewhat okay. All right, so one, two, three, four, and that's exactly what I needed there. So that's going to go here, and that's going to just come all the way across like so, and do the same thing here. Now, I don't need to put nothing here because that this is this ceiling is going to come straight through here like so. There we go. There we go, like that. So that that's kind of hidden, and hold on. Is this back wall at the right? One, two, three, and that's four, right? Because we did five on that side four on or five on that side and four on this side yes yes okay so that's great so we can just go ahead and close off this wall here as well and this spawner is basically almost it's almost where it needs to be all right and there we go hide some of that ugly stone and there we go beautiful that's what i like to see close this all up here got to get it all there we go and oh do, hopefully i have i do have more stony yeah, i have more i do have more stone smelting in our workshop so we should have enough uh stone brick to complete this project uh the only other thing that we're gonna have to go get a lot of is all right let's clear all this is we gotta go make some more signs and stuff as well for this build all right so let's go ahead and clear this out this is not needed here and i do have to leave i'm gonna have to make an entrance going that way i guess i can do that in a moment right i don't want to close off this wall because that's the only way we can get up there and so let's go ahead and do this and do that and take care of all that right there. All right, cool. That's all taken care of now. And let's see what else we can do here. Um, there we go. And let's just do this. And yeah, I have to enclose this top part now here as well. Like so. And boom, boom, boom. Come on, baby. Come on. Get all of that ugliness out of there. 
like so and like so and then we're gonna have to hide this on the other side as well all right boom done there we go nice all right yeah that's pretty good i think that's fine right there and hopefully i got the measurements right i am gonna check the measurements again uh because if the measurements are wrong we are screwed like yeah really badly um without the measurements being right the spiders will not fit uh in the trap at all and then we'll we'll have a problem later on so let's go ahead and close this whole wall here now uh like so and oh uh, see see this ugly part here i don't like this we're gonna have to go ahead and remove this here and there we go and now what we'll do is this we'll place that there and that there okay and i know we're gonna have to bust the hole here so we should be fine let's go ahead and just remove this part here like so all right cool there we go beautiful and remove this part here i wish i wish i had better tools i do have that diamond uh pick but it's almost broken and as soon as as soon as this trap is done it's gonna make our life so much easier when we start building and everything i'll get things done quicker and also uh we will have uh we'll get things done a lot quicker and on top of that we'll have uh as much xp as we need to enchant whatever we want so go ahead and close that there like so and let's do it here too and this bottom corner right here all right so there we go that's basically it. it's enclosed now we're not going to see anything ugly at least not here yet we got that enclosed now can i get out of here i can okay good good all right so now what we want to do is put up some torches first off because i don't want to die as soon as i start removing the floor here spiders will spawn let's do that there and again i'm just going to check one more time guys one two three four five uh one two three four four five okay so this side is five one two three four and one two three four all right wonderful so now what we need to do is this we're going to remove the floor here all right we're going to remove this here and we just need to remove i i don't i think it's two well one block we need to remove just the sides one block and then in the center we're going to remove we're going to make a trench for the spiders to actually go in uh and all that good stuff so let's go ahead and remove all this it's been a while since I've actually built one of these traps. So forgive me if I mess up here and there because I it's harder to like zombie traps and skeleton traps, they're all basically the same, so they're pretty simple to to remember how to do it. I've done I think one or two spider traps, and I think they've always been cave spiders, not really any normal spider traps. Uh so um, you know, some things I might mess up on. And I gotta fix that up uh, as soon as I do see it. And of course, this is ugly, so the ugliness has to go. I have to do it, guys. I have to make it look somewhat sim it's only because we're going to have glass in here, uh, to be real. All right, so let's go ahead and then close this or close this off here, and that'll be done. And then, yeah, there we go. And then this side over here, and then we can keep going here. And this takes so much. Actually, you know what? I think I'm going to go get that pick. I'm going to go get that pick to help speed up the process here a little bit, uh, just to help us out. And if it breaks, it breaks, um, right? If it breaks, it breaks. Actually, I have that fortune pick I could use. It's unbreaking. Uh, what does it have? It doesn't have unbreaking on it. Nope, it doesn't. This has unbreaking. Let's go ahead and take this one here. I know I shouldn't be doing this right now uh, because I can make a BCS pick with this, but it's unbreaking. It does have some efficiency on it. It should help us out a little bit here just to speed things up to clear this out because I do want to try to get this done today. All right, so there we go. That's done. There it is. Look how much easier it is when you have good tools. See what I'm saying about this trap? This trap is going to help us so much. Uh, in the uh upcoming uh days here on this world so let's go ahead and do this all right boom 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 done and i'm not i don't think i'm gonna change should i change the floor i'm gonna have to change the floor probably i think i might have to change the floor how the hell did that did i just make that hole there or was that hole already nope i just did that there see how good this i had to be careful here i don't want to there it is that's done should we change the floor i don't know if i should change the floor or not I know I want to remove this here, though, because this is ugly, and remove this and that. Don't take out too much, though, Jay. Just a little bit. There we go. Beautiful. There we go. Wonderful. And the other side, yep, over here needs it as well. All right. So there we go. And maybe this is this is a dilemma I'm having right now because I'm, I'm worried that I went the wrong way with this. But um, because of that big-ass hole that's over there, the, the hollowness over there, that might be bad for us. But maybe not. It'll be okay. I got to stop worrying about it and just do it and see what happens. All right, let's go ahead and place that there. And I might have to change the floor. I might change the floor just because I don't have anything to change it back. But it's going to be all filled with water is the thing that I shouldn't be too worried about. 
right? I shouldn't worry about it too much. All right, let's go here and go there. And then I'm going to put some torches up again on this wall here. Because once I remove the stuff there, we're going to be screwed. Should I remove the floor? Actually, you know what? I'm not going to remove the floor, but I am going to do this. I'm going to... I have two pieces only. I want to go get some more of this stone and just keep it as, as regular stone. You know what I'm saying? And plus, we have to go get some buckets of water and stuff. So let me go ahead and just place this here for right now. Throw that there for us to get up and down. Okay. And let me go over here and check on this stuff here. Place this there. And we'll just dump some of this stuff here because I have way too much stuff on me anyway. We'll leave that there. And we got to grab some water real quick as well. That we'll keep using that we're done with. We got a lot of mossy uh, cobble out of that. That's pretty good as well. All right, cool. Let's go ahead and grab some water we need to make an infinite source we'll do that there okay good done oh and another thing that we also need to make is we need to make some more we need to make a lot of signs we're going to need a lot of signs for this next part here as well so uh let's go ahead and do that too um let's see here first off i want to grab a stack well not a stack but that right there should be enough okay and then we need to grab what else do we need i said i needed signs right do i have wood i have plenty of wood just need to make some stuff here Actually, I can just make the signs here. We are going to make a bunch of signs. So we'll go here. We'll come right over here. Make some sticks. That should be enough for right now. And signs. Where are you at? Right over here. All right, cool. So there we go. And this sign part might kind of suck on the Xbox, to be 100% honest with you guys. Because, yeah, it's harder to play signs. Well, at least for me. It, it seems like a big pain in the ass to play signs on the Xbox. Uh, let me know if you guys think it's the same with you guys, if you guys do play both. It's so much easier on the PC to place a sign. Um, you just hit escape and you're done. But with this, you gotta... Yeah, I don't know. For some reason, I, I don't like it so much. All right, so one, two, three... Uh-oh, four. Hold on. We have to go on the four side, don't we? I think I have to go to the side that has four, which is one, two, three, four. I need to make two. It needs to be four on each side. Hold on. Actually, I think it's right here. We should be good. One, two, three, four. Did I mess up, guys? I might have messed up here. Now that I'm thinking about it, I have to place. I have to, because if it's spiders, we need to do, the trench needs to be two. So one, two, three, four. And then, and go all the way down. It's a big pain in the ass. And then to go all the way down, it's a big pain in the ass. So one, two, three, four. And then one, two, three. No, no, it's good right there. That's exactly what we needed because we needed it too wide. And yep, there we go. So we set that up properly. All right. So now that we have those signs in, uh, what we need to do... Where the hell is my pick? Why the hell did I move my pick? That goes there. This goes here. And I know I'm just dropping shit everywhere. Um, <laughs> let's go ahead now, guys. And what we're going to do is first off, we're going to remove this whole trench here. We're going to take this all the way to the end, right over here, all the way to this wall. And then we're going to be digging down here as well. Okay, we can remove this. And then we can replace that with this. Okay, done. And done. All right, cool. Like that and like this. Right here. All right, and this is this is the reason why I wanted that. That, that gravel there is going to annoy me. So what I'm going to do is just switch it out with this stuff here. Like that. Boom, done. All right, so now that we got the trench in here. Uh, so basically the spiders, once they spawn, they'll start spawning and falling right here into this trench. But now we got to set up a bunch of signs that is going to go from one side all the way to the other. So let's go ahead and do this here really quickly. Um, done. And all the way through here like so. Right? There we go. It's going to be beautiful. There we go. And like that. Did I, did I mess up? No, no. I did it right. And we got to do this on both sides, guys. Make sure to put up your signs on both sides here and then we have to put up i think it's one more uh it looks like there could be another yeah if that's it so we have to do the same exact thing on this side and basically what's going to happen is when we stick in our water uh for the spiders for the corners uh they will push everything to the center here but it won't allow the water to fall down uh but the spiders will fall through the signs and down into the trench and that's exactly what we need yeah so let's go ahead and continue doing this here real quick boom and boom and boom and boom and boom and almost done here we go <laughs> there we go it's all done now there we go beautiful and now what we're going to do is this i'm actually going to put in the water now which yeah i need to put in the water now so let's go ahead and do this uh i'm going to actually make the infinite source right here and then i'll remove it later 
right? Because we're going to need water for this, this part here anyway. Um, so let's go ahead and make an infinite source of water here. Place that there. And then we'll take remove that. Place this here, please. And place that there. Okay. And place that there. Should make it an infinite source. There it is. And there it is. Beautiful. Is it still infinite source? It is. Okay, good. Now what we need to do is this. We're going to put water on each corner here. And once we put this water in, um, see what I'm saying? Like the water won't pass through, meaning that the spiders will get pushed down from the corners over here. Look at that. Beautiful. That's done. And then we're going to do the same exact thing here. Uh, I'm not going to put the water in. Actually, I think we can put it in on this side and then we worry about like the top side. Uh, and we also need to put water at the, actually, we're going to put it down at the bottom first and then we'll worry about the, this corner here because we guys still get up and down, right? So we're going to place one there and then we're going to place another one right over there. That didn't work out. That's not what I was trying to do. Pick that up, please. And then place that there, right? It should be flowing all this way. And for some reason, it connected. Why the hell did it connect? It's not supposed to connect, boys. Let's go ahead and remove that there. And remove that as well. See what happens here. All right, it's not connected. What the hell just happened? All right, guys, I'm back. I figured out what the problem was with my water. And by the way, there will be a tutorial down below if you guys want to actually know how to build one of these. Um, because my explaining and, of course, me cutting in and out trying to figure out what the hell I did wrong is not really too informative. But if you guys want a tutorial, there will be one down in the description. But anyway, uh, first off, what I had to do is uh, fill that all the way up with infinite, uh, not infinite source, but you have to keep filling that up till it's all um, the water is all situated like that. You know what I'm saying? So it's all flowing to one. Uh, one spot and then what we need to do is this right we need to go right here we need to place the water there and we need to place another bucket right there i wonder if i take actually let's just go grab some more water here we're going to need some more water for this so instead of putting it on the back because i have placed it on the back wall you know what i'm saying you have to place it right there so it'll be pushed out all the way to here now we do need to fill this area in with water and we will but not right now because uh, we need a way to get in and out of this for now. But you also want to fill in this back part here. So everything is just like flowing this way here. Um, that's not really... Is it flowing? Are they going to get stuck here? It is kind of going to get stuck there. Let me go ahead and pick up that bucket of water there. It became an infinite source. I think we should be okay there. I think we should be fine. Anyway, that's now taken care of. Right? Because they'll still get flown. Yeah, it'll get pushed here. We should be okay with that. All right? Now what we need to do is this. We need to go and dig down one block here, one block, and remove this. And then we're just going to dig this out a little bit here. And we're actually going to dig this out quite a bit. And this is this is where things are going to get a bit weird because everything is hollowed out on this side. And I think I talked about it a little bit earlier. I was a little bit worried about it. But I'm probably going out too far. Hold on a second. What we need to do now is basically do the same thing that we just did. Put it, uh, water there and water here. And then we're going to pick up the water that's here and just place one back there. And that should push everything. I'm hoping it's going to push everything this way, right? If I feel like it won't get pushed here, it's supposed to start just flowing in this direction here. Hold on. Let me try this here. I feel like the water is doing some funny stuff here because I don't need it to do what it's doing right now. I need it to actually just flow and it being a, a full water source is not good at all for us. You know what I'm saying? Maybe, maybe I messed up here. Hold on a second. That goes there. If I do that, what happens there? Okay, it's flowing now, but it's flowing and it gets stuck here. So yeah, we do have to stick water here. Let's stick the water up here though. Does that, there it is. Now it's flowing all this way, right? Yes, now it's flowing all this way, but is that infinite source now? It might be. I don't know. We'll figure it out. But basically all we have to do now is dig out until the water source basically stops. And then we have to go get our pistons. And then we're almost ready to actually start making the kill zone. So we've actually gotten pretty damn far. And this is it right here. So from right here, guys, is where the kill zone is going to be. And also, I'm going to have to remove this all up here as well. Because we do need this here. So I'm going to go ahead and remove all of this. And you know what? I think what I'm going to end up doing is go ahead and make all the pistons that we're going to need. And then we will come back. Oh, goodness. This might be actually pretty hard to get back in there, isn't it? Am I going to be able to get back in there? Uh, can I get in? Oh, they can't get... I can't even get in. So once the spiders get here, this should work, right? At least I hope so. Anyway, I'm going to go ahead and make a wrong way, bro. Uh, we need to make a way to get back in there. You know what? I'm just going to do it here. I'm just going to do it right here. And then we'll fix this all up. And then I can close in that side of that wall as well where the spiders are at. Okay? So let's go ahead and do this and do that. 
And I know I'm probably all over the place, guys, but we need to get this stuff done. I'm trying to get it done as fast as possible, and that's kind of why I'm all over the place as well. Um, just because I, I want to start enchanting picks and, and getting good enchants and things like that. So we'll just come all the way across here, and there we go. So we're on this side here. So that's pretty good. That We'll use that. We can enclose that whole wall now if we wanted to. All right, guys. I'm going to go ahead and take all of the iron that we have, make the 10 sticky pistons we're going to need. I also am going to need some repeaters, so I'm going to try to make repeaters and see if we have enough repeaters. It's going to be 18 repeaters. I'm going to get all that stuff together, and in the next episode, we will continue working on that spawner. Um, but yeah, I'll be back. Uh, well, I'll see you guys in the next one so we can finish that off. Hopefully, you guys enjoyed. If you're new to the channel and enjoyed Minecraft, make sure to subscribe to the channel. And remember to smash a big old thumbs up on the video, and I will see you guys in the next one. Deuces, baby.